Today, various machine learning application examples are available and different data types can be used in these applications. Let's see some of them. Image classification, uh, one of the most common and popular machine learning applications examples. Uh, you can build machine learning models which can classify cats and dogs or other animals. Also, you can classify, uh, say, recyclable waste, for example, bottles, glass, papers, etc. Or you can classify sign language. And another well known example is object detection. If you watch Person of Interest, you can remember this intro. As you see, the machine uses machine learning algorithms to detect persons. Moreover, autonomous cars use various object detection systems. As you estimate, their system should distinguish objects, people, other cars, or traffic signs. You can check OpenCV as open source library for computer vision projects. Also, you can use text data in your machine learning based project. For example, with natural language processing techniques, uh, you can develop chatbots. Uh, hospitals, financial companies use chatbots at the first stage of customer services now. Of course, there are so many different application examples based on NLP, natural language processing. This is just one example. Another example is uh, can be detecting bad reviews in the comments of an social media applications like Twitter. Okay, next application example is speech recognition. Personal assistance. Probably you know at least one of these personal, ass personal assistants. Uh, today, uh, speech to text and text to speech applications can be provided thanks to the developments in machine learning. You can use Google Translate application, uh, its conversation feature to see how they are successful in speech recognition. Uh, of course, we cannot cover all application examples here, but I want to show the major ones and the recommendation systems, uh, one of them. Popular, popular platforms such as Netflix, YouTube, uh, collect their users' data and recommend most relevant content to keep their users in their platform. While conventional media like te television channels broadcast same advertisement for everyone, these applications publish individual advertisements recommendations for their users with the help of machine learning technology. Or think that you work in a company and you have so many customers. You know that your customers have different preferences, but some of them have same. So you want to offer specific campaigns for each group, then you can use machine learning and make customer segmentation to analyze your customers and cluster them. Today, companies try to produce best campaign for their target customers. And machine learning is quite helpful for this type of task. And the last one, intelligent bots for game. You can develop a bot for a specific game. Today, it is proven that artificial intelligence supported computer systems can beat world class human players in chess, backgammon, Go, poker. But don't forget that, for example, AlphaGo, which was developed to play Go, cannot beat a human in backgammon because they are task-specific systems, at least until artificial general intelligence is available. Okay, we saw different application examples. You can build smart systems thanks to the machine learning to estimate, predict, classify, cluster, decide, recommend, understand, produce, etc. And you can use text, image, sound, or HTML file in the machine learning. Of course, there are some cans at the moment. For example, you cannot use an NLP-based model for image-based ta image based tasks. There are some model limitations in here. Or you cannot use image data to train your speech recognition models. So there are some data limitations. As I said before, they are task-specific. Don't forget that machine learning needs data computational powers, especially in deep learning, and design algorithms. Okay, we completed this section. Now we'll see all machine learning types like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, or online learning.